Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his day be so long, but even though you do your wickedness a hundred times, matter of fact, you've been celebrating these customs since you were born. God have been celebrating all these customs since you were born, and nothing happened to you, right? Nothing happened to y'all, right? It says, and his days be so long, yet surely I know, it's a lot, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high, which fear before him. That means it's going to be well with us, the one third, because we fear the most high. And look at, we got fear for the most high. It says, but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not the most high. Your, your days are going to be prolonged. Understand, we're in the last days right now. Understand what I'm saying? And your days ain't got much longer. Understand, the, the Lord's judgment is upon this earth by the day, by the second. Right? The Lord is judging men constantly. He just ain't hit y'all personally yet. But just wait. The Lord said it won't be prolonged any longer. Right? Let's go um, back to Jeremiah. Five and twelve said, Then belied the Lord and said, It is not he, neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. So you're saying you ain't going to see the sword or the famine because the Lord didn't execute judgment upon you speedily. Soon as you do your wickedness, the Lord didn't kill you. So you feel it's all right to do. Right? So you feel no evil is going to come upon you. Understand? You feel that you ain't going to get judged. Let's hear what the Lord has to say about that. Let's go to um, Amos. Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. The Lord said all his people, right, are going to die by the sword, right? Who is the sword? Esau. Understand? Esau is the sword. As a matter of fact, y'all are going to die by the literal sword, which is the modern day gun. Y'all are going to die by the literal sword, which is the modern day gun. By this. Stormtroopers, when they come kicking in your doors, right, and put two in your brain, in your children's brain, in your mom and dad's brain, right, will take you off to a concentration camp and put you in that nuclear power oven just to finish you all off. Understand? Vaporizing technique as it's called. Understand? Let's go to um, 2nd Ezra. Alright, the Lord said all the sinners of his people shall die by the sword. Understand? Just wait until that day come. Wait until that day come. 2nd Ezra 16 verse 66 said, what will he do? What are you going to do? Or how will he hide your sins before the Most High and his angels? Now what are you going to do and how are you going to hide your sins from the Most High and his angels? How are you going to do that? Because when the Most High start judging this place, that's when y'all are going to want to repent. Y'all are going to want to repent when the Lord start judging this place. Right? Whenever you get in trouble, that's when you want to repent, right? Like when you go to jail. As soon as you go to jail, now you find the Lord. As you come back out, you're doing that same wickedness, man. And it's the same thing. When the Lord starts judging this place, you don't want to find him. You ain't want to find him. You want to seek him. You want to seek him, but you ain't want to find him, right? It says, what will he do or how will he hide your sins 
from before the Most High and His angels. Let's go to verse 63. It says, Surely He knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your heart, even them that sin and would hide their sins. But the Lord said, He know what you're doing. Right? He know what you're thinking. Right? And you're going to try to hide your sins. I was not celebrating New Year's. I was not committing adultery with another man, woman on New Year's. I wasn't eating pork sandwich. Right? I wasn't smoking weed, getting high. Right? The Lord said he searched you out and he, and he's going to find you, man. Right? He said, surely he knoweth your inventions and what you think in your heart, even them that sin and would hide their sins. Therefore, has the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. The Lord is going to put you all to shame. All right? Because you got Israelites who know they're Israelites, and yet still what they do, they don't want to be seen bringing, bringing in that big Christmas tree inside of their house. So what they do? They get a small Christmas tree. Right? They go and get that small Christmas tree and put it on their desk. What else they do? They still go get the presents, right? Wrap it and put bow ties on it for their children, man. Understand? Because y'all ain't man enough to stand up. Y'all ain't man enough to stand up. Understand? You're still buckling in. You're still buckling to the customs. Do you think your tree size matter? Whether you get a big 50 foot tree, all right? Or the one the size of a coffee cup? It don't make a difference. Understand? It don't make a difference. The Lord's gonna search y'all out, man. The Lord's gonna search y'all all out and put y'all all to shame. Right? And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. Right? You're gonna be ashamed before men. You're gonna be ashamed. Right? Because you just acting like you holy. You acting like you try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments in the best of your ability, but you really ain't doing it. And when the Lord's going to search you up, you're going to be ashamed when it's brought out, man. You're going to be ashamed when it's brought out. All right? Let's jump to verse 53. Let not the sinner say that he has not sinned. But this is a proud nigga right here. Proud. Understand? I ain't do it. You know what I'm saying? Says, for the Most High shall burn coals of fire upon his head, which saith before the Lord's power and his glory, I have not sinned. So you know this nigga know he's a sinner. The Lord searched him out and found him to be a sinner. He's going to say, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Understand? Proud nigga. Right? The Lord searched you out and he found, and he's he going to find you guilty, man. And you're going to get put to shame. All right? Because behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imagination, their thoughts, and their hearts. The Lord said, He knows all the imaginations of men. He knows what you're thinking. He knows all these things. All right? The Lord knows what, the Lord knows, right? He knows what you see, He knows what you hear. All right, the Lord know all these things. All right? It says, Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imagination, their thoughts, and their hearts. All right? The Lord knows everything you do. Right? Let's go to um, 1 Corinthians. The Lord knows and sees it all. You know what I'm saying? The Lord knows and sees it all. Understand? But the Lord watches. Understand? Let's go to um, 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High and the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? So don't you know that you're the temple of the Most High and the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth within us? 
right? It said the spirit of the Most High dwelleth within us. 